Hello and welcome to day number 106, which is day number 10 of the Mary's Mini. That's right. We've done it. <laughs> We've officially, well, mm, sort of officially, officially graduated. I know that the lighting and the screen and everything is different. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just doing something quick as opposed to doing my full setup just because uh, it's a bit late and I kind of want to go to bed. So, hmm. Yeah, so uh, we have managed the full 10 days of Mary's Mini doing potatoes, like all the cool kids. Yay. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Jessica and Brian also have managed. Um, I have come to some decisions about the extension that we were thinking about. Yes, I've come to some decisions about it. So, quickly before my lights die and everything goes really dark and horrible in here, um, this is what I had for lunch today. And this is what I had for dinner. Uh, if you want the full sort of breakdown of what they are, like check out the Instagram, they're on there. Um, link to that will be in the comments below but you can also follow the uh, you know the, the little the little bar that pops up in the last couple of uh, couple of seconds of the video there um yeah like it, it's actually worked out pretty good like it, it's been fine I'm actually surprised by how easy is the wrong word how not difficult it has been I mean, like, I know that some people struggle with it. I went into this fully expecting to struggle, I'll be completely honest with you, because I only managed seven days on, like, a potato only. Like, what was meant to be a fortnight of that. Because I started out going along with what Pendulette did um, and what he describes in Presto, as I imagine a lot of people do when they hear about this sort of thing. You know, they... they read this book from a, a respected magician and stage presence, see he's made loads of progress and say, hey, well, you know, like, let's do something like that. Um, and yeah, like, I, 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 I failed miserably. I, I managed seven full days and then after midnight, so very, very wee hours of day eight is where I had to break it and I, I had something that wasn't a potato. And this time round, this Mary's Mini, where I've eaten potato with some extra vegetables, has been absolutely fine. It's not been... It's not been a problem. It's not been a chore, mostly. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's been parts where I've, I've wanted something else and, oh man, like, the amount of times that I've looked at, like, even things that I don't usually eat. Like, I'm not a very big fruit eater. I don't eat fruit that often. And just within this 10 days, I've been looking at fruit and going, oh, yes, please. So, mm, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. I, like, I, I, I'm happy to keep it going. I, I'm definitely wanting to keep it going because the results as well, like weight loss results and stuff, is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna, so the, the way that I've done it is I've done my usual Tuesday weigh-in in in yesterday's video, if you haven't seen that or if you've skipped past it. Um, there we go, there's the lights dead. Yeah, it's all dark and horrible. Mmm, fun. Right, okay, well, uh, yeah, so where were we? Well, I'll, I'll lighten this up in post or something, I don't know, I'll, I'll try anyway. Right, so. Uh, I'm going to weigh in tomorrow um, because I, I weigh myself when I first get up on a morning after I've like used the bathroom and brushed teeth and everything like that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll weigh in and tomorrow is like my official end of Mary's mini weigh in and we'll do like a little concise like I started at X and I finished at Y on the Mary's mini. Um, you know, just to see how things go. Um, yeah, that's, that's the plan for that anyway. Uh, going forward, I'm going to keep going. 
with the Mary's Mini. Um, I'm gonna keep following the rules of it for another six days. So that means exactly the same rules as before, potatoes only, green and yellow veg, like non-starchy green and yellow veg, um, maybe with one or two reds thrown in, just, you know, like tomatoes are okay. I, I'm fairly certain beetroot is okay. I've had a couple of slices of beetroot. I might as well finish off the jar that I've got. So a little bit of beetroot, um, you know, no flour, no bread, no mixing stuff, no beans. Um, peas are okay, even though they're uh, technically a legume. Um, yeah, like just stick by the normal rules for another six days. So I'll have like an official end, official end to, uh, to my Mary's mini experiment on day 17. Now, the, the day 17 vlog, I might record very, very early on and then do like a sort of follow-up thing as part of day 18. I'm not entirely sure because what would be day 17 of the Mary's Mini is actually a, a meetup event. So uh, I'm part of a group on Facebook called uh, Expat Dads, which is basically, um, you know, Americans, Brits, uh, we've got some Swedes in there, um, Australians, all, all sorts of people from all across the world who have moved to Berlin and have children. It, it's like our little support group sort of thing. Um, you know, some quite a few of us anyway are like stay at home dads, like our wives or spouses are working or like there's a couple of single dads in there and you know. It's the full spectrum. It runs the whole gamut from like childless or just about to have children <laughs> expecting all the way through to, oh God, oh God, why can't we stop having children? You know? Um, yeah, there's a meetup on Wednesday next week where we're going to go to uh, Golgotha, I think it's called. Golgotha? Golgotha. Um, which is like, uh, it, it's basically like a beer garden with, uh, with like a little barbecue pit sort of thing. And I'm going to go along and I'm, I'm going to have a couple of beers because I, I literally only see these guys like once every few months. And these meetups only happen like once every six or more because, you know, we, we don't really get time to do it. And when we do get time to do it, it's like, it, it's then or never, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up to day 16 of following the Mary's Mini and see exactly how much progress that I can make in full. Um, day 17 is gonna be me having some beer again. Um, I think, the, I'll be honest with you, the options for food at that point are also going to be quite limited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it like a proper pre-planned day off. Not like my most recent one where I, I just kind of lost it and went, ah, there's no options, bleh, and didn't really like take advantage of the fact that I was off, you know? Um, this time is going to be pre-planned. Like I've got specific set ideas of what I'm going to eat, how I'm going to eat it, everything. So that's going to be that. And then day 18, straight back in on possibly the rules of the Mary's Mini, possibly a slight adaptation to it that Brian suggested because like I was following the McDougal program and I was doing okay, but I wasn't losing anywhere near as quickly as I would like to. Um, and that was like my little sort of like concoction of maximum weight loss meets starch solution and how I interpreted it. Now, evidently something in that was wrong or I was doing something wrong with my portioning or, or like the things that I was eating because I was, I was losing very slowly and then like coming up and dropping and da, 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 da. and that frustration was building up in me and that was causing me to say, well, you know, like it's not gonna hurt if I have like 
some soda. It's not going to hurt if I have like a couple of these once a day, you know, like things like Oreos or, or like, you know, whatever. And all of that was just building up and building up. And, and I was yo-yoing quite a bit at the end there before I started the Mary's Mini. So I think following the Mary's Mini rules is a good way to go. Absolutely a, a great way to go. I'm definitely going to do at least another 10 days in the future. Uh, possibly with rice this time. Like I've seen quite a few people do it with rice. I was originally going to do it with rice. So I might give that a bash. Um, I've seen that uh, some people have been doing it with like corn and stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it like polenta or, or something like that could be quite interesting. I could do like tacos and stuff the entire week long, maybe. I mean, let, who get tired of tacos and stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, like it, it's, it's a thing to think about uh, closer to the time. And that's, that's my plan going forward. You guys know now. And yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to stick to, basically. So keep me right. Keep me right. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. Well, lights are dead. I said this was going to be a quick one. It is a quick one. I'm going to go and I'm going to play around with this laptop that you've probably heard buzzing around in the background. The, uh, the laptop is, is sort of alive. Fingers crossed. Uh, we had the IBM engineer turn up today, uh, swap out the hard drive, and it seems to be working. So I think it was quite literally that I murdered the hard drive by trying to load too much stuff on it. So, uh, so I think we're going to look at getting an external hard drive for uh, putting stuff onto, you know, for my filming and, uh, and editing and stuff. Um, or I'll just use the, the big standalone PC. I mean, it, it runs pretty hot and it's noisy and it, it's a bit slow, but it gets the job done and there's plenty of hard drive space in it because we've got every hard drive from every computer that we've had over the past, like, 10 years in it. Because, you know, <laughs> you, you, you should either destroy them completely or not throw them out, you know? So we've, we've kept them in there and we just keep formatting them every now and again and using them for storage and stuff. Uh, right, okay, look, I went off on a complete tangent there. I am going to go and edit this and go to bed. I, like, I'm, I'm done for the day, okay? Awesome. Thank you very much for following me through the 10 days of the Mary's Mini. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I really, really hope that you enjoy the Crocs in the Kitchen video that they're inevitably going to be putting up later on today if you're in America or, you know, very, very early tomorrow if you're in Europe or the UK or anything like that. Other time zones I have no clue on. So, you know, like, and figure it out yourselves. Um, yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how, uh, how they've done as well and, and listening to their vlogs and stuff too. Yeah, I think, I think we've all had a good time of it. Um, I think there's probably been some frustrations in there, but... I'm happy to do it again. I'm happy to keep it going. Can't argue with the progress, can you? Cool. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.